Day one, poem one, trees I will and will not name. Hiking with others, walking near birch, my acquaintance corrects, aspen. Slim gray at the bottom, I dream to stand among as one of them. Time to suck, sumac fuzz, sour of red stays, berry spits out flavor, flavors one second of this life. The utilitarian oak holds copper leaves until guaranteed green pops off. A tree I do not know and call a teen upside down willow does not hold the pinch of delicate talon, strength centered feathers, plump breast pumped air into chirp. Happy National Poetry Month. This is from the E-Star Poems, Mention of Homes Forgotten. Stepping out of system, taking footprints to wind, walking blade space of paradigm, I may heal the hostage in my throat yet. Too many worlds become two only words. Orion over the historic peak of Cooper House, where in this planet's late 1800s, a rich girl once lived, I, six, sit with Earth Mother on our apartment steps. She points to a blue star, thinking I'm her daughter, says, Sirius. I patter my palms on my body's knees, breeze, and respond, serious. That's where I'm a fat mermaid. Happy National Poetry Month! To a morning star beside my moving car, the longing lavender of dawn in the east as if a tie-dye sunset of a foreign planet, star in the glance of my window, rush hush of wind, say we are light emesh. Passing the dimness of roadside sleeping semis, blinking cherry stems of airport, distant bright, understand the secrets of my skin. And your jazz crown reaches in my chest, a fluttered explosion, an unexpected orgasm. In this morning momentum, what if? I am a skylark goddess devoted to the island of earth, vastness of darkness, pinprick sirens, flame gases, unimagined rejoices, a curtain of constellations, cosmic crickets chirping, an asteroid burst. Happy National Poetry Month. Dust Trust. Don't expect from the seed. Let, let it rest with dust trust. Perhaps in blind earth, its knowledge unbinds and weaves its sight of sun journey. Don't expect from the body. Live with death trust, the beat developed in dark to make time for a time with a planet that beckoned. Don't expect from the poem. Sit with hush trust, bare feet on leaves in the air of an autumn afternoon. If these words choose you, they will come. Don't expect from the garden. Have husk trust, like an ear rowing golden white teeth with strand. Breathe in the ivy whiff, the round red harvest, fleeting, wild, willing ripeness in your hand. Happy National Poetry Month. The Compassion of Venom. Stay still, tingle and trill. We're all stolen land, longing for ocean rain on our tongues. Fort secrets splice our abdomens. Capitalist chemists inject tomatoes, bulb lust of nightshade, poison dance in defense and in defiance of life. Thick strand of hair like garter snake over wet shoulder, E-Star's conditioner bottle lists the ways it isn't toxic anymore. The full moon in Cancer, emotional water, pressure of the pincher, float and bloat. Newer, newer, newer. Happy National Poetry Month! I wrote this yesterday. Happy National Poetry Month. Star seeks star, breathed by these bodies, star seeking below night leaf canopies, Human commodities, foot tripped on roots exposed by moonlight. Caravans nourished with caress of landscapes under sun warm canvas, above wooden wheels jettisoned over rocks and dirt, inventing a why, 
for love and lore, seeking star, light and dark, water and air, forward and back, lighter and darker, quest and rest, earth and fire, seeking star, seeking star, seeker. Estar talks to her dead mother. Once I unfurled within you a yellow curd of sun, a lavender moon forgotten. Then I became human in a patchwork blanket sacked on the lawn in need of a spaceship. You said before fists, I felt like a moth in your dark. You pushed, I flinched. I don't want you to take me back from my peach dusk, my neck held head saturated by forest. In la lengua tu abuela estaba la reina en la playa, y la luna estaba muy cerca mi cara, y yo tenía solamente una pregunta. ¿El mar me pre prefieres a mí? Y el mar bajaba su voz y contestaba, no, no pequeña, te llamo. In a drenched daydream, I meet my soul by a shimmering, swirling pool. I ask it, what are you doing here? It answers, I am here only to be with you. Hey, happy National Poetry Month. This is the one minute version of a poem called Two Robins. If you'd like the full version, it will be on my Facebook or my YouTube. Links will be in the comments. Happy National Poetry Month. Two Robins. I hit a robin with my Saturn. I'd like to say that it was him or me, but it wasn't. I stopped, he flew up. I thought we were on the same wavelength, drove forward, and he swooped into smack. Flashback. That red stomach and white splat on my windshield, a decaying clump lays on my back stoop. I leave for work. My neighbor shouts, what you doing, beautiful? It doesn't register. He called me beautiful. I answer, I'm picking up a dead bird. Not the one I hit with my Saturn, but a robin, wings splayed, bleed, greens, flies. Hey, beauty, what are you doing? Tracks. My face is a landscape. I've worn well the self that fell, kept in the crevices of my smile stillness. The fossilized bursts around my eyes, the scorched treks my life had to take. Happy National Poetry Month. This time I live. I crawl from the cabin when he is gone. I eat maple leaves and drink from puddles, dragging broken, broken legs to a back road. This time I live. This timeline, my unarmed death doesn't happen. I walk on my street, surrounded by my cologne, past police who don't even look up. I make it home and squeeze the woman I love. This time we live. 38 and two swallow clamored gallows. Our chest beat the medicine of prairie wind clarity. No train moans and crows caw carefree. This time I live. This timeline after they've smashed the herbs in my chalice, torn my dress and inside smacked my face green with bruising. When they tie me to the stake, I take it between my thighs and fly, escape the smoky landscape. The goddess of vulnerability, not a jagged shoreline. In the middle of the prairie, her palace floor, a mosaic of humanity's masks, shattered personas, there are no walls. Just as her skin needs no cloth, nor bath balm, only the sweet smelling of everything she has been. In the wind, mirrors hang, chimes. She looks in, admiring her markings, crinkles in all the openings embedded in her lids, ripple of her smile when her mouth is still. She'd allow you the joy of kissing them if you'd ever stop running. All right, it's still National Poetry Month and I almost totally forgot to post a poem. So I'm gonna just do a quick, what I call a cover poem where I just make up a poem by pointing my finger at the words in this Minnesota history um, publication. So we've got many daily sad summits to a collection <laughs> seats. Oh, earned. How about that? Happy National Poetry Month. We're halfway through. I just wrote this. It's called Birthmark for now. First, 
Nurses mistook the birthmark for a rash and salved the strawberry lip splash. At the pool, a girl from elementary school thought it was a maroon belt welt lash. You're being abused, she splashed. I forget about it. Reminded on a moonlit toilet, the rose swirl galaxy of my inner thigh, a portal impression from another life, a circumstance of pigment poignant and mysterious. Enjoy your mysteries. Happy National Poetry Month. Hey, Esther Marcella Hoffman here. Happy National Poetry Month. Um, this, I'm in my car here with my trusty laptop. This poem I wrote, so when Michelle Roach covers Stand By Me, I'd have something to say during the little solos. So stand by me. I cannot say you gave me feathers without wings, nor our love was flightless. I held you like breath until you said unfaithful and feathers flew from the pillows we shared and I knew the best parts of me live in the air my heart broke open I can stand in front of a mirror and promise to never leave me again well L naps Never as it was, these untrained words try to explain the magic in blood, scan for meaning in the exploding sun, a effulgence of essence shunned by mind once again, a mist of laughter, scarce and scattered language, hidden behind heart's gate, grunt, in psychic slow gauntlet, trudge through mer in mercury retrograde. When you wake, I'll regurgitate, translate with movement, translucent, twitter into kisses. Waste piles dug to creatious lakes not meant by Gaia. These metal as our bones now, misguided survival. We skinned mineral stand above sea level, lands named after numbers and white men, squatter mountains, forgetting we are photons purposed and repurposed, cosmic earth dust of meaningless significance. I just wrote this. 77. I wish to be an older woman among younger aspen, mauve silver veined with rainbow fluorite sight, gaze, soul, slippery with sun, dirt beat, celery cracked teeth, reminiscent of bone for my ancient lizard mind, toes toiled in mud, dogs whisper of mysteries of wolves but divergent, paws like clouds on paths as I call names. In my gar I am my garden's companion, this forest's acquaintance, but it's your face I've grown with these magenta decades, absence, present. After 77, then I will be willing to give myself up, body to kiln or cliffs of beak, blot out my Akashic ash ink. Happy National Poetry Month. I'm just gonna make up a poem on the spot. Aspen, undressed, cascade, caressed, canal. What else is there to do but be gratitude? Be gratitude. Happy National Poetry Month. This is just a little free write. Crowns. Sack the human need for crowns. Relentless lack that feels the feed. Fuels fantasies of grandeur. Unlearn homo homo sapien. You are nothing and everything around bones. Cradled in stone on a hill. Captured in the ribs of civilization. Apart from earth heart in need of a crown, self-bastardize from the ground, be your blood and understand rivers, give rotten leaves your dreams and know the cosmos sparks in your laughter, the vortex creatrix settlement in your sigh, the peace of mystery of a bruise, forget the crime of clocks, watch a bud become apple, step up from the downfall, hero of arbitrary constellations, gleaming and gleaning eternal. What does it mean to be a body? Rush of blush, this flash, spontaneous existence. You are all the desires of the universe in flesh or dirt, starburst inhaled. Happy National Poetry Month. This may be a little too real, a little too gross, but it just, when the muse strikes, right? This is called Cutting My Toenails. Claws shed across the wooden floor, the importance of crawl. Sickles lost to the cause, crownless toes, a peasant's joy. Bending, wind and waves cascade, dreams of clouds, strengthen yourself in silence, starlight in sand, needless of welcome, be at home. Recorded live from Hinkley, Minnesota, Practical Coward. 
Invest, encourage, the universe manifest, pass, paradigm prisons, reflect the prism, compass in your chest, the thirst of that first sip of self, first slip into star. You are desert, an oasis, quest, and respite. Happy National Poetry Month! Firefly jawline, the crescent moon aligns with my jawline, the trust of being seen, the decolonization of my mind, the sleepy evening lined with hypervigilant fireflies, allow the embers of who we were go cold, and our scorched sternums for new growth. In the morning, I won't want to know who I am at home in a warm saucepan of oats. Caught in a desert, 40 days in my throat, I reconstruct my voice beneath a parched sky. One tree, one stone, one bone, why? Wishful thinking, wistful dreaming, a fistful of sand. I sleep, enfolded in a pair of wings. Some prophetess is molting. I stuff her feathers in a burlap sack. It bursts at the seams. It seems desolate, but I don't want desire anymore. I want to be here in this barren garden, one atom in a setting sun one speck of dust on the eve of what I shall become. Ely's Peak via Sirius Star. Catapult from capitalist quagmire, I scale the granite named after a small man, balance myself at the top. The peak recalls itself, earth air. Like your Virgo Libra cusp, it jokes. My heart an indigo portal, corridor, corridor to Sirius Star, dolphin blue hue, where were all illusions to heal, to expand ancient pebbles turn into my fingernails. This of the compass. You thought you could put me in your hands like a little blue gem, centered in swirling of silver, a bobbing arrow, then force your own north. And you were surprised to circle and circle a scorched landscape, no manna in sight. Like it or not, I will put you where you need to be. Lustrous doorknobs remain out of reach for reasons out of your reach. Like it or not, I will put you where you need to be. When identity you've suffered loses all hold, when there's no energy for the petty, when you're broken open, a raw throbbing on your living room floor, then I brought you back to your core. You'll begin to trust the mystery of you and me. You'll be free once again, for you are to live in your chest, each breath your homeland. Poetry is perspective. It's being a kid in the mid-80s, back down on a braided golden rug under a ceiling of spider plants, spying the whirling of Saturn disguised as ceiling fan. Poetry is the ability to ignore aunt commands to leave the lake, just as you step into a pocket of leeches. It's the stillness against the underwater scolding as aunt pulls electric blue eels from your feet. Poetry spelled out in the slippery writhing. It was once your blood spilled by those elongated throats, motionless S's in the grasses they mightn't have known. Of course poetry is the eulogy to what may have happened and birthday card to the imagined. Poetry is the pitch circle and the eyes of crows in the claws of gray trees, caws held as tight as feathers. It's the murderous sight of acres of bruised horizon and unforgiven time. Poetry can never be the actual flight, but it can be the lift, a puff, air justified. Happy Poetry, National Poetry Month.